Let's go into the fourth scam, which is, uh, which is equally shocking. Now, what happens to a government when it is forced to look at a scam? This is a scam which, like the CWG scam, first breaks with someone in the United Kingdom looking at it and saying something's dodgy, and then the government is forced to look into it. This is the jetting engine kickback scam. This is expose number four tonight. The defense minister has ordered a CBI investigation into allegations that the UK firm Rolls-Royce paid bribes to HAL officials to clinch deals. But the government woke up only and only after the UK serious, serious frauds office arrested prominent billionaire arms dealer Sudhir Chaudhary last month. Now, Sudhir Chaudhary is known to be a very politically connected man. Very, very politically connected. Allowed to get away on two occasions by the CBI in the past, and this includes the term of the UPA1 government. <clears throat> He is no ordinary man. A powerful arms dealer with significant political connections in India and abroad. If Sudhir Chaudhary's arrest has shaken the political corridors in UK, the Indian government too seems to be rattled, with tip-offs indicating a bribe scandal in the HAL Rolls-Royce jet engine deal involving the billion-dollar Indian arms dealer. Only after the UK government stepped in did the Indian government order a CBI probe into the entire matter. In fact, the allegations first surfaced when Hindustan Aeronautics Limited received a letter claiming that Rolls-Royce had paid bribes to its employees. And an inquiry initiated by HAL's chief vigilance officer found credence to these claims. Two CBI investigations against Chaudhary have been shut by the agency citing lack of evidence in the past. And it is only after his arrest by the British Serious Fraud Office in London that the government has ordered a probe against him. It is in his watch it has happened. Uh, removing Anthony and bringing some other defense minister will make no difference because the culture of Congress today is to obey unquestioningly. So every time there's a foreign disclosure, then only an inquiry is set up. The 10,000 crore jet engine scam coming to light at a time when the UPA is already submerged in controversies. An exposed UPA which has no answers for why the previous cases against Chaudhary were closed is now running for cover. Every deal which was uh, being um, you know, criticised or uh, some allegations were raised, immediately he issued uh, uh, an inquiry. So that means, you know, the last uh, six or seven years uh, during Anthony's time, uh, people feel and um, even uh, our worst opponents feel that uh, corruption has come down considerably. As a torrent of scams hits UPA, can the Prime Minister duck responsibility just because UPA too has now hit its last phase? Bureau Report, Times Now.